YouTube and welcome to a sunny Castle Coom. Right, so we have a couple of fiestas, obviously mine. Ravi Minda from Instagram. Manda, sorry, I always call you Ravi Minda for some reason. Ravi Manda with a very nice fiesta. David's fiesta. And also Richard Morse who's out on track easier, we'll show you him later. Now I've done a couple of sessions and I want to tell you some things. The main thing everybody's going to be wondering, and what I was wondering before I come here, is would the cooling mods work? And tell you what, so far, been absolutely brilliant. Let me show you what we've got. Right, so if we look at the Luffy gauge now, I've just been out on track. You see we're uh, ticking over at 94, and the outside temp at the moment is 18 degrees. Luffy's saying 30 because we're hot, but that will level out. Um, but anyway, let's go to our maxes, so let's hold that down. So we got an exhaust temp max of 904, which is fine. Like I say, we can't go on the outside temp and intake air temp because that's gone up while we've been in the pits. Now, when I was on track, the maximum I saw was 30. Uh, so I'm happy with that. Um, I know it's a cooler day than what it was last at Cadwell, but the most important thing is 142 up the straight down matches my speed. So I'm 132 GPS exactly like before. 229 GSA flow. Right, so water temp is 102, right? But it hasn't hit down on track. Now, that is when I've come back into the pits and it's gone up. Um, but on track, right, I'm seeing a max of 97, 98. So much, but I'm not even getting to 100. The goal was to get under 100 and it's working. I can't tell how happy, how happy I am. Same thing for David as well. David is hanging his belly off. <laughs> He's under 100, he's like 97, 98, and he was worse than me. So, cutting out that shroud around the fan has made a massive difference. Because, oh, get that out of here, that's hanging. Don't want your face on camera, so you put your belly on. <laughs> you asked for it. Yeah, uh, so he's ugh, that's killed my train of thought. So, he's he was 10 degrees hotter than me at Cadwell, his temps are like well over 110, 15, right up to um, he was going into power cut. Now he's like under 100. He's um, mid 90s, I think. 90. I think he's peaking at like around about the same as me, 97. So it's a fantastic result. I recommend you get rid of that shower. Plus he's added all the duct in front, which he was missing. So yeah, just trying to get the car dialed in. Um, tires are wearing quite a bit. I can't see my Derez has lasted in the next track day. I'm chunking them out a little bit on the centre. I'm getting my pressures wrong, I think. But I'm going to work on that throughout the day and just go enjoy myself now with a bit more peace of mind that I am going to listen to that Luffy gauge kicking off telling me the temps are going to high. Right, so we got a bit of a fiesta train. Now we got David in front, then Richard, then Ravi, and then obviously me. Right, I've tried a bit more tyre pressure on the rear because I just wasn't happy with the way the car was feeling. A bit of traffic though, we've done a 118 lap, so I'm happy with that, even though I don't care about lap times today, just enjoy it.
I'm still filming it. See, just in case you say anything of interest and you can make it the video. Yeah. So, it's one of them. But we've had a decent amount of running. Yeah. Yeah, I've had some good runs. Me and Dan just had a good few sessions, like. We had a good, we had a good cheeky slide out of, uh, out of one of the chicanes. Yeah. That was amusing. Yeah. Bit of drift done. It's been a good day. Like, what have we got to now? Two o'clock? So yeah, if you've got to pack up at two, it's not. Two hours of left for running, isn't it? But, and I'll let it cool down. See how you get on. Right, so we just come back from a session with Dan, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to put the aircon on. I've never been able to run aircon because it's always made me overheat, which I've assumed is just the heat from the condenser. <laughs> then going back on the rad, making things worse. But 95, 96 degrees running then on the coolant with aircon on. That was bliss. Um, I'm over the moon. 
Uh, it's just been been really good. I mean, I know I might be banging on about temps, but that's kind of what my brain has come to now. Sort of become the most important factor in my track days is can we keep temps down and, and this working. David has gone over 100, so I think he does need a rad. Now it's warmed up a bit, he's gone to 104, 105. I really think that shroud is um, is the trick, but uh, yeah, I'm really pleased with that. A little bit more time left now, I get another session or two in. I've been worrying about lap times today, I think I've done a 118. I've had no clear laps, I don't really care, I think I've peaked as far as lap times go when we've done the 116, I just don't care, I just want to have some fun now, so yeah, i get another session and hopefully all goes well. I have looked at it and just... Right, so we're at the end of the track day now. I'm over the moon with my temps. The car's been brilliant, just run another session again with aircon on. Rich has got fuel pump issues, as we said earlier, so his day is over. It's about three o'clock now. Finishes the focus, it's rally day tomorrow, so I'm happy to finish. Rav's setting up the home. David's uh, setting up the home. I'm going to knock it on the head while the car's all in one piece and everything's still working fine. So we've had a good day. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, guess what? I'll see you on the next one. Cheers and bye.